Hey, so this morning early, I put a post on my Facebook page and it said, who wants to see me make another sandwich? 10 likes and I'll fire up the Blackstone. Well, let me tell you, I had 10 likes in no time. So I want to thank all my Facebook friends that I have for hitting that like button. I really appreciate it. So I'm going to come through with what I said. I'm going to make another sandwich. So I like breakfast and I like lunch. So what do they call that normally? Brunch. So I'm going to put together what I'm going to call the all you can eat brunch burger. So if you want to see how I make it, stick with me and I'll show you how it's done. GoPro, stop recording video. All right, so to get started, I went ahead and I prepped up some peppers, some onions, and some mushrooms. I'm just gonna show you the bowl. You don't need to see me cut them up. I do it the same way every time. I'm gonna put that on the Blackstone first. I'm gonna get them sauteing a little bit. So to get that started, I'm gonna put just a little bit of oil right there in the corner. I'm gonna throw this down on it and get that rolling. All right, and for seasoning, I'm going to put a little bit of this Smokehouse Barbecue Seasoning and Rub. Not a lot, because I'm going to put some of this as well on the burger, because I like that barbecue taste that I'm going to have on the sandwich. There. And then I'm going to add a little bit of butter in these veggies for some flavor because you got to have good flavor on your veggies. So a slice of butter about like so will be plenty. Let that melt in. Okay, and then to add to that, I'm going to take two of these sliced homemade bacon that my wife's friend at her work gave to us. Look how thick that bacon is. This bacon is probably some of the best bacon I've ever had. I love it. It's really good. I would love to learn how to make some bacon of my own. So I'm going to get that on there and get that going as well. Okay, and then right next to that, I'm going to put my burger, of course. And like I said, I'm going to add some of this smokehouse barbecue seasoning and rub. I'll put some on this side of the burger, set it down. And then, of course, I'm going to smash it, but I'm going to make it as thin as I can make it. So it's going to be a good size burger, big around wise. It will shrink as it cooks. They always do. We'll just go like that and see how it goes. A pretty good size. Then, of course, season this side as well. All right, while that's cooking, I'm going to make my sauce. It's going to go on the sandwich. I'm going to use some of this. Hellman's olive oil mayonnaise dressing. We'll go with a scoop of that. About like that. And a shot of this masterpiece sweet roasted chipotle barbecue sauce. So I'm going for a barbecue taste. Not too much. Mm, like that. I'm just guessing. And then I know this might sound weird to some of you, but I love French's spicy brown mustard. So we'll go with a little shot of that. Oh, it kind of came out everywhere. That'll work. And we're going to mix it up. Add a little bit of salt. A little bit of cracked pepper. And keep on mixing. Alright, I'm going to give her a little taste. Really good. Okay, this is what I'm going to put on the bun as we make this burger. Alright, so back to cooking. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and give the bacon a flip. It's gonna take a while for the bacon because it is thick. Also, I'm gonna give this burger a flip. I'm gonna get it charred on both sides real good. 
And I want these onions and mushrooms and peppers to be good and sauteed, real soft, real good. So give them a good mix. I got my heat on about a medium, medium high. I might actually kick it down a little bit so I don't overdo the heat on this bad boy. So kick it down just a little bit. And I'm going to put my meat press on the burger to get it a little bit even cooked. All right, the bacon's going fast, so give it another flip. It's really cooking. I want it a little bit crispy, but not like disintegrating crispy. So keep that turning. We'll flip this burger one more time. Oh yeah, looks good. Put that back on. And give these a little turn as well. They're looking very nice. All right. So, as I'm waiting for that, I'm gonna throw down some ham because I'm making this kind of a combination between lunch and breakfast. So I'm gonna put ham, quite a bit of ham. It's just Carl Budding's ham I got from the grocery store. Nothing that I made myself or anything like that. So, just like so. Gonna get it crispy on both sides. And we're gonna add it to the sandwich. Okay, pay attention to your bacon. Make sure it's not too crispy. Give her another turn. Move around your onions and peppers and mushroom. And flip the burger once again. Coming along just right. All right, and another flip on the bacon. It's getting really close to being pulled off there. Also, give your ham a flip. I like that, that looks perfect. Another flip on the burger. A little bit of char going on, which is what I'm looking for. And keep moving these veggies or they'll burn pretty easily. All right, so I'm ready to start putting some of this together. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put a slice of Swiss cheese on the burger. I'm going to let that melt just for a second, which it won't take long because it's hot. And then I'm going to put my bacon on top of the burger like that. Okay. I'm going to flip my ham one more time, about like so. I'm going to put my ham on top of that burger on top of the bacon, just like that. Then I'm gonna put some of these sauteed onions, mushrooms, and peppers on top of the ham. Pile it pretty good, just like that. I won't get them all, but that's all right. I'll have some for later. And then, on top of that, goes a slice of thick cut provolone cheese just like that but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide this over off the heat so it doesn't burn because I'm gonna put an egg right on top so with that being said I'm gonna kick this burner down to low she's hot you can see it burning And then down for an egg we go. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Okay, while that's cooking, I'm gonna put one of these Hawaiian buns down for a little toast action. Of course, a little bit of salt and a little bit of cracked pepper on my egg. Gotta have salt and pepper on my egg. My bun is toasted. Just like I like it. There it goes on the cutting board. And we're gonna let this egg cook, but I'm not gonna break it. I'm gonna let it. All right, I think I'm safe to cut the 
shut the heat off on the griddle, slide this egg up a little bit, try not to break it, put this guy right in front of the camera, we're going to put it together. So start off with some of my sauce, mayo, barbecue, French's honey, this honey mustard, which tastes amazing by the way. I know it sounds like a different combination, but it really is good together. Put that down. Also, for a base, I'm gonna put down a little bit of shredded lettuce right on top of there. Okay, I'm gonna pick up this burger Set it right on top of that lettuce, just like that, and then for the egg, without breaking it. Oh, folks, does that look good or what? I mean, let's go in for a short, a close look. That looks awesome. All right, now for the, the fun part. We're going to put the lid on, break that egg. Let's see what you think. You ready for this? Oh boy. And a mess it makes. But that's what we like to see. Amazing looking sandwich. All right, so let me cut it in half and we'll take a look on the inside. All right, one more good look at this guy before I cut it in half. Tell me that don't look. Amazing. All right, so let's give her the cut, see what we think. Hopefully I can do it without breaking everything. Here we go. Oh yeah, totally doable. Tell me that don't look really good. All right, so if this sandwich don't start your breakfast off right, or your day off right, I don't know what will. I'm going to take a little bite on camera, even though I already tried it once. A little messy, but it's good. Alright, so there we have it. The All You Can Eat Burger. I think it's really awesome. Give it a try at home. Tell me what you think. We kind of got a little snowstorm storm coming in. The kids had a late start today. I thought since I'm locking the house, I'm going to build something cool. Tell me what you think. Give me some comments. Tell me what you think of that idea. Um, if you haven't become a subscriber, you know what to do. Hit that little button down in the corner. And along with it, hit that bell. And by all means, give me a thumbs up like you did on Facebook. I really appreciate you guys. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. And stay tuned for the next build. And I'll tell you what. That burger is staring me down like it always does. And with that being said, my name's Jimmy Eats. And that's just what I'm going to do, everybody. I'm going to eat. Thanks. Have a great day.